family welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna cook fish so many of my youtube family members have asked me to show how to cook fish in aonaga style in an earthen pot so today i'm gonna show you that but before that i'm gonna run a few errands first and on my way back home i'm gonna buy fish so i'll get back to you later look at that's it fish is Hello. So I have here bamboo shoot, chili and garlic. I have here even cherry tomato. So if you're using bamboo shoot, you don't need to use cherry tomato. But for me, I love using both because I love cherry tomato, especially its flavor. So I'm using both, but it's optional.
I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it right, but it's called it. It seems this is called Dere in Lota dialect. And today I'm going to fry this. It's so yummy. My friend bought it all the way from Woka. Thank you so much. I love these leaves. Great great grandmother's frying pot. So I have here the leaves which my friend bought it all the way from Woka, thank you so much and fish head because that's my favorite and that's fish innards, fried fish innards which I do got from this fish and that's my salad, my recipe let's dig in So guys, it's all ready now and look at my face it's all sweat but anyways, let's pray first bite Mmm. Salad. Do good. And the leaves. Mmm. And the fish innards. Do good. What we out, we normally do is we cook the fish overnight in case if I want to eat tomorrow morning, I cook it tonight and I keep it so that it cools down because what we believe is masto tantakai palasi instead of cooking and eating right away over the kukunarake we do pishi tage. We leave it, uh, for the fatty fish, we cook on the spot and eat because it has lots of fats, right? Mm. My favorite. Is it good? Mm. I'm going to mm. <laughs> Guys, it's all done now. Thank you so much for watching. Do try it at home and let me know whether you liked it or not and I'll see you all in my next video.